In cult network news, submitted by Edgar from Australia. Hello, Edgar. The Church of Scientology has just launched their own TV network. I am gonna watch that. That's just gonna be hilarious. I would actually watch that. Sounds kind of boring. It might be like pretty cool sci-fi shit because they believe in like aliens and volcanoes exploding and spirits coming out or some shit. Have you been to the psychology center? The one on Franklin? Psychiatry, the the history of like oh. abuse or whatever. Where's that? It's like on Hollywood Boulevard, I think. Is it the Celebrity Center? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's a different one. It's okay. actually the big blue building, right? It's a big propaganda museum, like yeah. anti-psychiatry. I wanna see that. I it's fun. Fucking fascinating. I met, yeah, I, yeah. Met, I met a person who grew up in the church. What? That's tight. What were they like? She's awesome. She's cool. But she's she's not a part of it anymore, and her family is not a part of it anymore. One of my favorite but, things to do is to listen to podcasts from people from North Korea and people who survive Scientology. It's very similar. Both of those things to me. Yeah. Similar. It's insane. She was telling me that it's like complete brainwashing, where there's a difference between like regular goers of Scientology and then there's this exclusive club called like the, the C Club or something like that. And once you get in this group, then you're completely inside. Like you give them everything. Like they put you in debt somehow. Yeah. You work for them like 24 seven, but then if you're just a regular person just going to the Scientology church, it's like a college. You just sign up for classes and then you get these different levels. But she says after a while, her mom was like burning so much money and she was like, Wait, so this is all that happens after you pay this much money and then they left the That's church. That's how they lose a lot of their members. <laughs> They're yeah. like, nothing happens. Have you heard all this Leah Remini stuff, man? Oh yeah, Leah Remini. He is yeah. so good, dude, on like all this Scientology stuff. Talking about how when she got to the highest level or whatever, when she was like clear or whatever the fuck you call it, uh, she was told that like the volcanic planet or whatever is Controlling the world and shit. Yeah. Just like whatever crazy shit, right? Oh, the Xenu, Xenu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Xenu, yeah, yeah. just crazy stuff. Like, it's like an acid trip. Like, like it's basically what L. Ron Hubbard wrote all the time. He just wrote another book and called it Scientology. Well, it's um, just sci-fi, like, novel. That's what he wrote, yeah. yeah. Trashy sci-fi novels, too, yeah. like, not good stuff. He wasn't known as a good author. Like, it was, like, pretty... Pretty good scam artist, oh, though. Now, he has a whole, now Scientology has a whole TV network. So I'm gonna show you guys a, a clip of yes. them promoting this network. Ooh. Makes me wanna join the call. <laughs> Damn. Me too. Woo! Yeah! That looks fun. Damn, they're gonna get so many followers. Damn, that looks dope. What was that? What's that room all about? It looks like a DeVry University commercial. It does! Like... <laughs> oh my god. Nope. Not really. Well, kind of. I want to be a Scientologist. Dude, cults are fun. Oh, so it already... Oh. Yeah, it already premiered. Oh. What do I got to do? Like, suck someone's dick or something? If you suck someone's dick... It's on Apple TV. Dick. Yeah, it's on Apple TV. That's what uh, I'm doing. Android, Fire Stick, Roku... Another crazy thing is uh, what she told me is she has family members that are still part of, like, the deep, deep Scientology. And you ha you get excommunicated. Yeah, she's cut off, right? They can't even talk to her anymore. Yeah, her family is just, they, they can't, she can't talk to her own family members. Wow. Like, if you leave the church, that's it. So a lot of people are afraid to leave because you start from rock bottom in the regular world. I don't know, man. I don't know if I believe it. Because well, that video looks so fucking fun. That's true. Like, I don't know if that... Why would you be afraid to leave that, right? Right, I mean, that's... Yeah. It's like a vacation. It's like you're going to Sandals. It literally looks like <laughs> yeah. a DeVry University commercial where they're trying to make it fun for me to learn. Fuck that shit. I ain't trying to learn shit. Oh, Mom, but if you put music, if you put... That's like Math Blaster, remember that shit? music with a yacht, anything will be dope. If yeah. North Korea had an advertisement like that, do 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 North Korea, and then there's like fucking boats, and yeah. like, like balling, and then there's like a person like pointing fingers, yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen these, but I heard that the ISIS recruitment videos are like this too, where they try to make it seem all fun and shit. Dude, they're very fun. That music on every recruitment ISIS recruitment video. videos are very fun. That's yeah. everything though, because look at the army recruitment videos. Like, they make it seem yeah. so badass. That's true. Or you're just gonna that, be cleaning the bathroom for yeah. the first two years. You're like, and then you're like hanging down and parachuting and shit. And you're not doing that. You're it's fucking a job with your never get. Yeah, you're like a toothbrush <laughs> fucking. Cleaning the toilet. Yeah. yeah. They fucked up, dude. They're like, dude, if they had a military video where it's just like a dude sitting on a couch eating some pizza, 
<laughs> yeah, you're into that, right? You're speaking right to me. That's what they should do. Motivational music to the most mundane yep. shit. <laughs> Remember high school, or like, what was it, elementary school magazine sales? No. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah where, the, where the guy would come out and like start handing kids $1 bills, and they're all like, why are we getting so much money? <laughs> like you're literally just, it's a pyramid scheme thing, where it's, or like, what do you call it, multi-level marketing, where it's like, you go and sell 10 magazines to your relatives, and then they pay you, and then I get, we get most of the cut, and then you get to go on a stupid vacation to somewhere local. <laughs> I used to do those mail order ones when they, when these random things come into your mail, and then you're like, I want these magazines. And then they just keep sending it to you. You're the sucker. Who does that? Did you pay for it? <laughs> My parents probably did. Oh man. Oh, no. I probably just got their credit card and wrote it all down. <laughs> they would play one of these videos and then they would have a kid, one kid get, got picked. And the kid would stand in like a booth, right? And they would close the booth. And then they would fill it with, with air. And all this money starts shooting up in the air. I remember that and shit. The kid's like, he can, <laughs> he's like trying to put all the money around his chest. And he has like eight seconds or something to grab all the money he can. And then they would take all the money out. And then they would count it out in front of all of us. And every time that he put it in his hand, it would go ka-ching, ka-ching. And like by the end of it, it's like he made $22. And we're like, oh. <laughs> You have no money at all. It, like that's the kind of propaganda North Korea and all these guys should do. Cause we love it. I know. I wanted to sell. I was like gonna be the the Bill Gates of magazine sales for like three hours after that thing, and then it wears off. Oh, it always wears off. It always. Wears off. Yeah, your motivation drops after that. It's like when I did the big help for Nickelodeon. Remember that? We all did that, right? Oh, Nickelodeon's like, how many hours are you gonna pledge? And every time that you called, you got to hear a different character from Nickelodeon. And so I would just call and like, by the end of the thing, I owed like 13,000 hours or something. And I went outside for 30 minutes with my friends and we started cleaning up trash and we're like, this sucks. I remember um, they used to have this like Jewish telethon during Christmas time and there would be all these like old Jewish guys dancing in a circle and then they're like, call now, support. And I remember being a little kid watching that shit and I called the number. <laughs> What'd they say? <laughs> I don't remember. I just called the number and I was just listening and I hung up. Yeah, so this whole Scientology Network thing, they're breaking it down. Uh, each show that they're going to have, so it's like Inside Scientology is pretty much like an extended infomercial of the church. With pretty much what we just saw, that's Inside Scientology. And then there's other show called Voices for Humanity, mm. where it's like a documentary style show where it focuses on the church's volunteer work. And this other show called Meet a Scientologist, where they're interviewing real life Scientologists. Such meet as, a Scientologist? Who the fuck wants to meet just like <laughs> Well, right. I mean, you could do that in like Pasadena or wherever they have yeah. the center. There's, they're it's like, free. yeah, you could get like a free reading and they're guaranteed gonna tell you how fucked up you are. Like, I, I bet you there there's never a moment where they're like, oh shit, you know what? You're actually a pretty decent, balanced human being. You don't need this. Well, the I science behind it is so good, too. The, 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 do this little machine that feels your energy or some shit. You're saying oh. it's like high-tech spiritual technology. Oh, so I want to like do that and just have them come up to like, you're way I was like, mm, I disagree. <laughs> I just you might as well wear, wear a mood ring. Yeah. Like it's yeah. the same shit. And we should just bring our own bullshit, right? It's like, watch this. It have you I'm met not. those people though? Like, have you ever crossed paths with those people where they're like, "How are you feeling today?" And you're like, "Actually, pretty good." No, but oh, really. Really, I know, man. Like, come on, man. Like, what? Do you, what no, do you but do? how are you really? Yeah, and you're like, no, I, I'm pretty good. Like, really, I feel great. Bitch, not everyone is as dis depressed as you are. And they fucking dig, and they dig, and they dig, and then you and and then you're just like, what the fuck? I don't have that. If they keep asking. It's just like, how do you feel now? Fucking angry. Yeah, cause now I want to kick your ass. Yeah, now get the fuck away from me before oh, you die. But that must stem from your your upbringing. What was your no, childhood? No, it stems from your fucking face. I'm about to pound in. No, right man, now. like the aggression's definitely coming. Okay, from fine, you. fine. I sucked my dad's dick. Like, what do you want? See, we should talk about this. You see, <laughs> and they got you. They broke you. Yeah. These fucking people are good. They're, They're good. assholes. You should just do it the other way, like. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. I only made a million dollars last year. And I'm kind of sad because all my family members are healthy. I know. No. <laughs> and they're really nice to me. Yeah, but Scientology, they hear you got money and they're like, yeah. Now they're not going to leave you alone. Yeah. How are you really feeling? Well, I tried to murder my mom yesterday. It didn't really turn out too well, so. Mm. 
Like, I think about my mom naked in the shower. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I never thought about this before. You got, you got a minute? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you do that shit, that'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, imagine if you were totally desperate and then you fucking annoyed the fuck out of them. Right. They're like, forget it. Like, You're going to hell. That's what I would do the door to door. Uh, Just start talking. Mormons or Jehovah's oh, Witnesses? Jehovah's guys. Yeah. Oh, that was fun, man. Oh, dude, Jehovah's Witnesses don't even come to my house anymore because my dad's like a, a, a minister, right? And like he went through like the whole Christian theology thing. He has like a mass, everything. So they would come over. My dad's like, come inside, let's talk. <laughs> and then they never came back because my dad literally talked their ears off for like three hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like literally in the backyard and they just never came back again. <laughs> They're like, don't go to that house. Yeah. <laughs> don't go to that one. You'll be there for like fucking three, four hours. My mom's like making them food and shit. That's the one situation where I wish that I had like, like a, like a fucking pipe or something. So I'm like, yeah, come on in. And I'm like, you guys want anything? Like, want to smoke a pie steak? Or we're like, what's up? Like all that kind of Start shit. Start doing a line. Yeah, put porn on, like, you know, have it all ready to go. You should hire strippers every day just, just in case they come over and then just, oh, you guys are here just in time. This is why when I am a rich man, I'm gonna ha do such fun stuff. Oh man, okay, now you're the second person I hope gets rich. Thank you. He was the first, now you're the second. Yeah, I, I is it gonna be a hidden Wait. camera show? Cause I wanna watch that. Hundred all of it, yeah, Wait. absolutely. I'll have a lot of fun toys and activities and he will troll the world. Yes. Why, why? He's not gonna have fun though, cause why? now Jess is in his life and she's, she's gonna uh, keep him straight. All right, no more millions for you. Uh, you can still have them. Yeah, thank you. You're yeah. my number one now. Thank you. Well, yeah, I will do. I will, I will do fun stuff. You'll see. I feel like I feel like you're gonna give me the money. If if I give it's like her me and him are competing for the money. It's like, well, if I win, uh, should I have the opportunity? <laughs> if I give uh, her what I, she wants, I I could go as crazy as I want. Mm. Uh, if you give Jess what she wants, mm -hmm. she's so responsible. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it happening for you. It, it's gonna work. I like how the two white people in the group are the most Asian out of all of us. <laughs> so That's so true, it's right? So disappointing. Yeah, she cock smashes you, bud.